In this problem, we're told the pendulum has a period of 1.35 seconds on Earth. What is its period on Mars, where the acceleration of gravity is about 0.37 that on Earth? Right, so T just stands for the period, and the E is Earth, the M is Mars. So the period on Earth is 1.35 seconds. And what we're trying to do is solve for the period on Mars, right? And so how do we go ahead and do this? So in order to solve this, you should know the formula for the period, which is T, or the period, is equal to 2 pi times the square root of the length of right, the pendulum divided by g, which is the gravity. So the gravity is going to be different on each of these uh, planets, right? And so we know g, right, the gravity on Earth, or the gravity on Mars is 0.37 that on Earth, right? So think about how we want to solve this problem. So if we set these up, right, so t on Earth, right, or let's just do Mars. So t on Mars is just going to be 2 pi times the square root of the length of it, right, divided by g. And so g on Earth, right, we know gravity on Earth is right ge is 9.8 meters per second squared right and then we want to find it on mars though right because for this one we want to do uh on mars right so it's just going to be 0.37 multiplied by uh, 9.8 because it's 0.37 that on earth right so times 9.8 so we know the bottom right here right because this is the gravity on earth this is the gravity on mars which we just found was this so this is just going to be 0.37 multiplied by 9.8 Right, but how do we find the length? We need the length of our pendulum if we want to go ahead and solve for this. Right? And if you notice, we're given TE, right, uh, the period on Earth, and we know gravity on Earth, so we can solve for the L, and the length are going to be the same. So what we can do is just go ahead and plug it in here. So, But first, we got to solve for it, right? So uh, the period on Earth right, is 1.35, which is equal to 2 pi times the square root of L divided by the gravity on Earth, which is 9.8. So if we want to go ahead and solve for L divided by 2 pi, Right, and then you can square both sides to get rid of the square root. Right, so you'll get L over 9.8 is equal to 1.35 over 2 pi. Right, so this whole thing squared. And then multiply both sides by 9.8. Right, so you're going to get L equals this right here. So what you want to do is do 1.35, right, and then divide it by 2 pi. So when you do that, 1.35 divided by 2 pi is uh, 0.2148 and so on. I'm just squaring that, so square it now, right? So when you square it, and then multiply by 9.8. When you do that, you're going to get the length is equal to 0.4524117. So we're just going to use this value when we plug it in, right? Because when we solve for uh, it right here, we plug in the length, right? Because that's all we need to solve for the period on Mars. So plugging it in, t on Mars is equal to 2 pi multiplied by the square root of the length, which we just solved for it right here, 0. 0.4524117, and then divide by 0. 0.37 times 9.8. Right, so go ahead and plug this in your calculator. 2 times pi, multiply that by the square root of 0. 0.4524117 then divide them by 0.37 multiplied by 9.8. And so when you go ahead and do that, you're going to get it equals uh, the period on Mars is 2.219. So I'm just going to round to 2.2. You can round however you want. But 2.2, and then keep in mind it's in seconds, right? We measure period in seconds. So 2.2 seconds, that's going to be the period on Mars, right? So this right here is your answer to this question, and hopefully you found this useful.